What's up gamers, it's me guinea pig and welcome back to a brand new minecraft bedrock edition tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a copper oxidization farm that does not use any redstone. This is the most fastest as well as the most easiest way to oxidize copper very quickly. This farm works for all minecraft platforms whether it's your mobile device, xbox, ps4, nintendo switch or pc. Before you start this video, make sure to do this and let's get right into the mechanics of how this farm works. Copper actually has a really unique oxidization process. So how previously it used to work is that copper oxidation were oxidized within days. So you need to play Minecraft for so long in order to advance to one stage. Now it used to work in random tick speed so whenever the copper block gets a random tick speed actually checks in a 4x4 area if there's any copper so if there's a copper here then the, this copper decides to okay i want to advance to the next stage it will first check in a 4x4 area and if there's any copper there then it will not change so if there's no copper in a 4x4 area and it will start to change so if there's a normal copper it'll go to exposed and this copper decides to okay i want to expand to the next stage as well it will check if there's no copper then go to the next and so on and so forth until it goes to the last stage if lightning strikes on the ex uh, oxidized copper it will go back into the stage again and so you have to wax the stage or you can go ahead and wax any of these stages. they will not expand to the next form causing them to just stay to this or to this to you now, copper can be really useful for spyglass lightning rod or whatever use of copper that you want now i have made a test display here one is the fast way to expose copper and second is the way which normally people might use so this is the difference between which is the most fastest way i'm just gonna make sure i'm gonna make the random tick speed up to 1000 and you can see the difference over here okay as you can see the left side the easiest way as you can see the copper i know this is not possible in survival mode but this is just for testing as you can see the left side oxidized very quickly as you can see compared to the right side it's just only one block over there if you can just see it just turned into exposed variant and this will just take time and time for this right side so this this left side is the most efficient as well as the most fastest way redstone free as you can see most of them just turn into exposed variants as you can see this thing just started to expand into the oxidized variant and it's gonna take time even though the random tick speed is 1000 it is still slow as you can see as you can see i have a stone cutter here and i have both of the way the first one is non-wax and the second is the wax variant as you can see all of these does have the stairs slabs and i'm going to the exposed way as you can see stairs slabs the weather as you can see stairs and slab the cut variants as well as the oxidized variant as well this also applies to the wax variant as well so see if you put one stack of wax you can also get the cut wax stairs slabs as well same applies for the exposed variants same applies for the weather as well as the oxidized variant so, so the stone cutter is really useful so make sure to use the stone cutter and don't place any of the cut slabs outside to make sure get exposed exposed and just just use this one this is really useful this will save you a lot of time for, for building or for decoration in purpose or whatever use you have for copper now for this farm you need copper blocks in order to get copper blocks if you're playing in an old world you need to find new chunks so copper ore can generate once you find new chunks once you find copper mine it with fortune pickaxe so you can get more raw copper smelt the ro more raw copper in a super smelter or whatever smelters you have once you have found once you have got a lot of copper craft them into copper blocks you'll get the ingots going and craft it once you found the copper blocks once you got it place a copper block and place the next copper block four blocks away from it so one two three four place the next copper block here and one two three four next copper block you can go ahead and extend this as long as you want make sure it's inside of your simulation distance so you can go ahead and make sure that these copper will expand to the next form and also you can go ahead and do this upwards as well so go ahead and place one two the four temporary blocks followed by a copper block and you're gonna break all the temporary blocks and go ahead and expand this till your build limit that's all up to you but make sure they are inside of your simulation distance so they can go ahead and expand the next form and also if you have accidentally like if you don't want weather like i do not want this form you can go ahead and grab your axe 
tap on it or right click on the copper and that will go to the previous date and go to expose and you can also go ahead and do this so if you have a lot of these you can just go ahead and tap on it you'll get the variant you'll get the weather it will take the durability of the axe so keep in mind you can go ahead to the first date as well and now if you want to keep this stage go ahead and grab a honeycomb tap on a honeycomb you'll see the yellow particles that means it has been waxed and if you tap on the axe again if you tap on the copper again it will show you white particles that means it has been unwaxed and it can be turned into the next variant as well if it gets a random tick go ahead and honeycomb it if you honeycomb it then it will not expand keeping it waxed exposed copper you can also go ahead and do this as you can see this applies to all copper whether if it's cut or just regular slabs stairs everything what i recommend is just oxidize all of the copper blocks and put them into the stone cutter to get all of the variants and this is how this farm is done so it's pretty simple but i'm building the farm no redstone required all here i have to do is just afk for a minute i'm hoping to this minecraft bedrock addition tutorial will be really helpful for whatever use you have for copper for designs for if it's a build or whatever use you have in particular make sure to check out my channel because there's lots of minecraft bedrock addition tutorials and more 1.7 farms coming and i'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorial adios